Hi, for the reefers, I'm Eddie of Eddie's Reef Aquarium. Today's video, as you must have guessed when you looked at my intro, is not about the 9 gallon or the Fusion 40. But in turn, it's about the, uh, uh, the photographic equipment, the video equipment that I'll be transitioning into from uh, my iPhone that I'm shooting this video and the previous videos uh, that I've been shooting. Uh, I'm just going to do a uh, brief um, demonstration or shall we call it the actual items that I'm going to be using. First of all, of course, the most important, the camera. I decided to go with a Sony full frame Alpha 7 II. Uh, this camera is actually a professional camera and because it's what I just said right now, full frame, the sensor is more advanced. Uh, it captures more and it can actually, I mean, I'm talking about like in general photography terms, when it comes like, let's say to a, an object or a person's face or eyes or something, you can uh, uh, focus into that. The sensor will actually uh, pick it up and will follow it and will give the proper type of uh, focus and lighting conditions. So that being said, I decided to go with this camera when it comes to the purpose of shooting uh, videos and uh, pictures, of course, because if all of you out there in the hobby must must be uh, um, concerned about the issue with the uh, actinic lights, the 18K, uh, 20K type of spectrum, which gives that blue halo on the, on the tank, which is actually for the corals and viewing and all that, but at the same time, when it comes to taking pictures, it's a major hassle. So that's why that I decided with this camera, because again, as I said, the sensor uh, is more advanced, it's full frame, and that would help it. By any chance, if that's not enough, then I went ahead and, and got some accessories like um, uh, a kit when it came to filters. Uh, these might not do the uh, trick but if it comes like to regular photography, it would. Like for instance, I have a, a UV filter, which would be for outside photography, not um, concerned with uh, reef keeping pictures, but I thought I'd, I'd throw it in. Then you have a polarizing filter. Now polarizing filters, uh, I believe that it might uh, be useful in the effect of shooting through glass. Polarizing filters are filters that when you shoot like from a window or through a window. In this case, of course, the uh, glass. It'll take away the actual glare that you would see, like you see your hands or, or your face or the hand movements. I do might have seen on some of the videos that I took. And the other filter is just a, a color correction type of filter. Now, when it comes to the lens, I, I bought the whole combo. It's a Sony lens uh, that couples with this camera. And this uh, lens, it's a great lens because it, uh, it, it's what, what, what they call the uh, kit lens, which is the lens that comes with the camera. This, this lens uh, ranges from 28 to 70 um, millimeter of focus. So what I'm saying there is that when it comes to this lens, I'm able, I mean, not to really shoot macro pictures, I'm gonna try, but 28, uh, millimeter of spread is also within the range of a wide angle. And then uh, 78 would be like a portrait type going into telephoto. So I might be able to get away with this uh, lens, although I don't think, but again, I'm gonna try being that this camera is a high-end camera, it might do the actual trick of very close-ups. And one important feature that I read about and I thought I used it's a remote control. This also is made by Sony, but they have them out of uh, other brands. Being, as you must be aware out there, that we're a one person production. So, I mean, for me to start any of these videos, and I'm pretty sure that my fellow uh, reef keepers to uh, do YouTube videos go through the same problem, it's a hassle. You have to go to the camera, testing, come back, put it on record, testing one, two, three, one, two, three. It's not right, it's too short, not to the side, back and forth and back and forth. Well, with a remote control of these cameras that do have a Wi-Fi uh, compatibility, that hassle is gonna be gone because you just adjust the camera once, you do a, uh, a practice shot, and that's it. 
right here, I would go, boom, I would uh, uh, turn on the camera either for pictures or for video, and it's a done deal. This remote control made by Sony also has the capability that I can actually zoom in and out uh, with a remote control. And then one final thing that I thought that I'd bring up is, of course, very important, a tripod. I happened to go with a, a Manfrotto um, tripod. It's an excellent tripod. You don't have to get uh, this, this specific tripod. But um, what I'm trying to, the message that I'm trying to get through is that you, you should get a, a high quality tripod, uh, a, a pretty stable and um, durable tripod. So you don't have the flimsy ones that they might move or, uh, you know, um, not, not have the proper angle sideways a little bit. You have to be uh, adjusting. So that's mainly the uh, video that I wanted to shoot today. Uh, briefly about uh, the camera that I'll be transitioning into. Uh, of course, the lens, the filters. If I see that these filters uh, doesn't do the trick, then I'll go ahead and I'll get a color correction filter, like uh, the filter accessories that you must, you must be aware out there that they have by PolyLab, that you can put it on your phone and it'll uh, uh, correct. Uh, the uh, blue tint, it'll filter it out. And you also have uh, softwares, you have apps that you can put on your phone that'll also do the uh, trick. So that's basically what I wanted to bring up in this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope it was a guide uh, when it comes if one of you uh, fellow YouTubers, reefers, that are in uh, doing videos, get an idea of who you should uh, buy or not, not buy. Again, it doesn't have to be these specific uh, brands, uh, models. I decided to go with this. I did a lot of research as people that follow me. You must, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, you must know that I do a lot of research before I get into something or I do a video or I purchase something. So I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, if you did, hit the thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And like I say at the end of all of my videos, happy reefing. Thank you very much. Bye bye.